Hey there! Welcome back to another episode of Boundless Expanse. I have some explaining to do. I did a couple things off camera, but I also started to record like half of an episode before I checked the recording I was doing and realized that my audio levels, my audio uh, quality was set to a potato. Want a treat? Want to hear it? Go right ahead. Hey there, welcome back to another episode. Welcome back. Did you enjoy that potato? I don't think you did. I did you a favor by re-recording this episode. So, fair warning, I already did a couple things. First of all, off camera, I made the energy cubes and then mechanism. And then I upgraded them to the advanced energy cubes, which is just the same thing with just the, the advanced, the basic energy cube in the middle, which holds a lot more, which was much more helpful for us. Also, I went to the nether, faced my fear, fought a black widow, uh, a couple wisps of a thumbcraft thing, uh, got some nether rack, got some nether bricks, got some glowstone for the projects, crafted up a magma uh, crucible to go into the next age of equipment and a uh, fluid transposer. Uh, both of those from Thermal Expansion. Now, of course, I I'm not saying this, uh, you know, well, I'm, I'm telling you this because I need to tell you this, and I wouldn't have done this, like, off-camera. There was too much work to do off-camera, and I apologize that I essentially did it off-camera because I didn't check my audio first, and yeah, but off-camera, I also added a timer with a little bit of red alloy wire and two block breakers to go into this chest, uh, and this will help us later for a mass amount of cobblestone needed to get into Botania and other things because other things need some extra utilities, uh, parts and machines like the, uh, from Botania, 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 uh, needs the Petal Apothecary, the Petal Apothecary needs the Arcane Black and get from Aurora Cascade, and then the Double Compressed Cobblestone, so we have to make a bunch of cobblestone for the Compressed Cobblestone, so let's just quickly get into what I actually did off camera. So, before I left off, after I realized my audio was really, really bad, I had this machine going, which was a uh, magma crucible going into a hardened fluid duct into a tank and to fluid ducts into the fluid transposer with the energy cube in the middle that was feeding these energy with the pipes. Then I realized that this machine, this whole entire setup that I did, didn't work and it wasn't working and I was really really confused and sort of frustrated as to why the fluid transposer uh, wasn't actually getting any of the redstone we were making. It was leaving the crucible, it was leaving the crucible right here and it was going into the tank and it was leaving the tank into the fluid transposer but both of them didn't exactly do what I needed them to do. Like it didn't, uh, it didn't properly have it so I'm going to take the configuration and I'm going to change this to be the only side. The only orange side should be this side. So let's check. Okay, this is the only orange side. And so I need this side to be blue and then the rest of the sides to have nothing. I don't want anything going into these sides. The only thing I need going into the machine is the uh, destabilize redstone. So let's place this there and the energy cable so both of them get power and let's throw in a little bit of redstone and it is going into here and just sort of chilling in here. Let's get like a full bucket. So how much was that? It was 500 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and let's change all of these into no outputs and that should be going in. I don't know why. Let's change all of them to blue just in case. Maybe fill? Maybe it needs to be in fill? No, that is obviously not the case. Alright. So my first machine didn't work. My second machine isn't working. And I'm not sure how to get the destabilized redstone into here without grabbing a bucket. Let's just make a crafting bench for out here. I'll be out here entire, in the entire episode, so I'll probably need one. Is without grabbing a bucket, wait, lacing it into... Uh, no. It, was, it wasn't just grabbing it from this machine. It was grabbing a fluid duct and pumping it into a tank and then grabbing the uh, redstone from the tank into here with the fluid transposer. 
and then putting it into the fluid transposer with two osmium ingots right here in this slot and then it would create the circuits that we're after so obviously the thermal expansion fluid transposer isn't working 100 percent either that or just not grasping actually how to do things so you know what give me one second i'm gonna do a little bit of research and then i will be back with you in a second all right i got it that was really really annoying to figure out actually like it was literally no help with a lot of things first of all you actually do probably need to get the uh, integrated module so you can turn off all outputs of the machine because apparently when I put stuff in it was draining out so all you need to do is grab it from somewhere like a tank because you can't grab it directly from the magma crucible you are also not giving anything else energy start giving things energy again uh, you have to grab it from a tank or something because I, I could not grab it from uh, directly in the magma crucible so if you take it and put it into there then it gets into there and you get your bucket back before it was actually eating my bucket and it was very very salty or a little, a little bit angry about that because it just kept eating my things i did not like it all right so if we just uh that and then osmium there and then that gets turned into a basic control circuit okay cool 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 there we go so let's just grab a whole bunch of osmium because I actually have a little bit of a plan today which I think will be very very fun uh, to do so let's throw in four more I think it's one two and then three four like that and grab another bucket take that out put that back in right fill it in then take that switch put uh, the two more osmium in there They'll get put in and another circuit. Uh, so let's start off with what I actually wanted to start with today. And it's still mechanism, but it is the charge, charge, charging. Uh, okay, uh, pad, 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 the charge pad for mechanism, which is two steel ingots and energy tablet, which again, very easy. And then some pressure plates. So all we need to do is come back in here. Luckily, Luckily, very luckily, we can come back into here. I will throw down my metallurgy confuser, and we have our second energy cube, which I will throw down right there and just throw on a red net energy cable so the thing on top is getting power. So everything should be getting power again. Let's throw in how many do we need for the charge pad. Uh, two steel, so that's four, I believe. Oops. 430. 40 and then four iron oops one two three four and i'll let that process up and then we also need for this the enriched alloy which is redstone and iron all right so i'm going to be sitting in front of the metallurgy confuser for a minute i'll bring you back when i am done all right so now it's time for a bunch of crafting let's find the pad in here because it'll make our lives just a tiny bit easier all right, so we need an energy tablet, which we can just come into here, take you, press you, one energy tablet, and we'll save you for a moment, since I probably do need more, but I'll save off on that for a second. We also need a little bit of more stone, which we can do if, uh, well, uh, I was going to say if I go out and grab a whole bunch of my cobblestone i thought i had a little bit more in here that's not e hold on that's stone i thought i grabbed the stone from there okay stone from there one pressure pad plus these two fire those up real quick and there we go and then we make those into those and then we can make the charging pad right i forgot we can't make the charging pad <laughs> okay there there those pressure plates there's the charge pad the charge pad i'll put in front of you you're getting things stand on you you charge me you make a cool sound actually all right so we made the charge pad what are we going to use the charge pad for well it's probably pretty obvious uh i like myself some flying and i also like myself some no damage while i'm while i'm doing said flying and mechanism just so happens to have a really easy jetpack along with some pretty much uh long fall boots so let's start with the long fall boots. So we need two more energy tablets, two enriched alloys, and two basic circuits, which is easy. So all we need to do is come into here, grab these, you, make two more of you, 
clear you guys out, come into here, and then two enriched alloys, two energy tablets, and two basic controls. So basic control, energy tablet, energy tablet, and then in the middle it was the two enriched alloy, which gets us our free runners. Now, how do we make the jetpack? Well, if we come up here, we can make it actually really easy. We need one basic control, two more steel, two in, and a basic tank. How do we make a basic tank? Osmium and redstone, which we have so much of, it's probably not even a laughing matter at this point. So this, those, and we get ourselves our basic tank. Then we need tin, tin, tin. So three tin. We have that on us, obviously. We have tin all over the place. Uh, where, actually, where did our tin go? This is a good question. It's on our inventory. Never mind. I'm uh, being a little bit silly. All right. So then we need two more steel, which I've already made. I already pre-crafted. So all we need to do is throw you in the middle. Then we need our two steel, our one basic control circuit, and then our three tin. Boom, boom, boom. Then we get ourselves a jetpack. So we have our free runners and a jetpack, but we're not going to stop there because there is a trio to be made. And that trio uh, ends with the atomic disassembler, which is a lot of stuff. It's a refined obsidian ingot, is atomic alloy, atomic alloy is reinforced alloy with obsidian, and then a reinforced alloy is enriched alloy with a diamond, and a diamond dust is just from the crusher so pretty much what we need to do is we need to grab ourselves our diamonds we need to get uh let's see that no wait uh this that and let's refine obsidian dust a refined obsidian dust is a diamond dust with an obsidian powder in the middle of your confuser and obsidian powder from ender io is in a grindstone a centrifuge and a pulverizer so we can grab all of our obsidian here uh, let's uh, make five just in case or actually no let's make six and throw it in the pulverizer I'm going to wait for this to pulverize and I'll be right back all right so we have our components we have the pulverized obsidian and we have our diamond dust now let's get into it so first I want to start off with this refined obsidian which is refined obsidian dust and an osmium smelt and an osmium in a osmium compressor so we'll have to make that as well so a refined obsidian dust in the metallurgic infuser is a crushed diamond and an obsidian powder so one crushed diamond and one obsidian powder or pulverized obsidian oh right hold on dump then this, then that, and we will get ourselves our obsidian. And now let's see about this osmium compressor. Let's try and find it in NEI real quick. Osmium compressor, which is a signalum ingot, and that, and that, which is reinforced, which a signalum ingot is signalum blend, which is copper dust and a pulverized silver with destabilized redstone, and that is just an ingot okay so that's a lot of crafting that is certainly a lot of crafting do not worry we can do that just fine so if we just keep you in our inventory right now we'll actually throw you uh, up here we'll throw you in the corner and I'll move some stuff away from you so we know you're important keep you there for now let's start with the atomic alloy which is a reinforced alloy which is an enriched alloy with some diamond dust so if we take our enriched alloy with some diamond dust let that process through we get our reinforced alloy which then the next step would be i just lost the giant pickaxe in nei for some reason it's right there uh, which is the reinforced alloy with a refined obsidian dust so we need to do another one of these so i was right in crushing three of them which is our atomic alloy done, and we need to throw in one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four of more of those to get a little bit more enriched alloys. So I will also keep you there, you there, and you there, while we work ourselves to the osmium compressor, which is an osmium block, which is easy. The osmium block itself is just, a, again, a block of osmium, so that should be easy. And then we need, I lost it again, let's just, for sake of easium, easium, because I was remembering osmium, uh, osmium compressor. So we need singleum, which is an advanced circuit control, which is just a, a basic circuit control and an enriched alloy, 
All right, this is easy. A lot of this stuff involves so much redstone and uh, osmium. Jeez. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That should get us two buckets, which will be fine. Then we need to work on the compound blend, which is one of those. Uh, one pulverized silver and three copper powder. So we need to take some copper. Uh, about, I'm going to say, four copper powder. No, uh, six copper powder. And throw that in the pulverizer so we can get more. And then the next piece of that was tin, I believe. Tin? Silver. All right, we have silver. So we just need two of those. We'll let this process through. Then throw in our silver. And then we can come out here. All of our redstone is probably done out here. So then we can grab our bucket. And I'm hoping the crafting recipe doesn't actually steal the bucket. And then we need that with the two thin there and the copper. And we get ourselves some nice signal signal and blend. And we'll grab our second ourselves the second destabilized bucket. Three more copper. And that. Then we can take our signal and head back inside and put that in the furnace. You in the furnace. And we also need to get ourselves an enriched alloy, which is more of the destabilized stuff, uh, which is another bucket. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And yep, that should be on its way. And for right now, we'll stick the osmium in there. Wait, no, we can't because we need to obviously fill this up. I needed to put one more in there. I miscounted. Boop. No, let me take you. Uh, oh, no. You just turned my... Oh, it just ruined my entire thing. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, what can I do? All right, put that in there. Get more of you. Get more of you. All right, wrong, <laughs> wrong way, uh, which is a basic circuit control. So that, and then we can head back in here, which all of our circuits or our enriched alloys should be done. So we can throw those in there with this and get our advanced circuit control, which is that, except for a bucket, oh wait, and our signal, almost forgot that, except for a, another bucket, which we can do, bucket, and a reinforced machine frame, which is a signal of gear with some hardened glass, which is an induction smelter, uh, which is a machine frame that's hardened, which is a normal machine frame that's Invar and Electrum, and Electrum is just simple stuff. Okay. Okay, tell you what. Tell you, to oops, wrong button. Tell you what. I'm going to do a little bit of crafting. I will, I will do, have little clips of me crafting, actually, what they are. But I'm going to do a whole bunch of crafting, and I will see you back in just one second. All right, here we go. Refined obsidian, refined uh, or the, the atomic alloy, the energy tablets, and four enriched alloys gets us our atomic disassembler. Let's take off this, put on the jetpack, take off our iron boots, put on the free runners. We're looking pretty good. I can't exactly see the free runners, but the atomic disassembler looks awesome. Now, let's take a step on our charge pad and let everything charge up. Well, this is going up. This is not going up, but I assume it'll start going up when the free runners are charged. So that is done. Now our atomic disassembler is going up, and our jetpack. It does not have gas. Gas. Do we need to charge it with gas? Hmm. Okay, let's take another look at mechanism and see what it might want let's see combiner crusher digital miner basic elite metallurgic confuser purification chamber electric smelter teleporter electric pump seismic vibrator pressurized reaction chamber hmm none of this really looks like what it would need so you know what give me one second and i'm gonna look up how to work the jetpack all right, time for another machine. Joyous days. We need the electrolyte separa separator, which is this, which is just, oops, I well, forgot to uh, explain it. Five enriched alloys, two osmium dust, an iron dust, and a gold dust. 
and then craft this, craft that, put that there. That needs water to start functioning, so let's come over here to our infinite spring and grab a piece of water. Come back inside, throw it in, and that should turn it into hydrogen, I think. Yep, oxygen, hydrogen. Then, with that, when they are hydrogen, and we can get a whole bunch of hydrogen from a water bucket because it'll turn it into hydrogen and oxygen. Um, and I'm sure this will be important later, so it's good to craft it now. So once this is all done, we can throw in our jetpack on the left slot, and it will take all of the hydrogen and put it in. So we get a thousand hydrogen per bucket, and when we press space, we can fly up. Now it goes pretty quickly, actually. But now we have flight, and that's a really good uh, place to end off this episode. We did a whole bunch. We did a bunch of machines. We got a jetpack. We got the free runners. We got the atomic disassembler. Whole bunch of stuff, which uh, will be helpful in the future. Plus a whole bunch of machines, and I learned a couple things today. So I will see you in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed. I, let's try that again. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one. Remember, stay fancy, and peace out. Bye bye.